Hi, I'm Yannick Hanfman. I'm Ilya Marchenko. I'm Dennis Kudler. This is Sebastian Ofer. It's Mark Andrea Wessler. I am Francisco Serundolo. And, and you're listening, listening to the Game Zola Podcast. Hopefully you enjoy it. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> the epic final. Novak Djokovic. Carlos Alcaraz. We saw it in Wimbledon and we're going to get it at the US Open. He's going to be able to handle a situation in a Grand Slam final against Djokovic because he's beaten him in one. I'm going for Carlos Alcaraz. The main man. The number 24. Novak Djokovic. US Open time, baby! Let's go! Goff could be our US Open champion. Three set final in which Iga wins. Near on near impossible that Djokovic doesn't make the final. Novak Djokovic claiming his 24th Grand Slam title on the women's side, going past the bingo. No surprise here, I think that Novak Djokovic will win this year's US Open and Coco Goff is going to be the American that wins it on the women's side. That Novak Djokovic will win this Grand Slam, beating Alcaraz in the final. I believe that Sabalenka is going to uh, ace up this uh, Grand Slam. Sabalenka and Djokovic take it. Novak Djokovic will have as many Grand Slams as there are hours in the day. Ons Jabeur is going to do it. I really believe. I think Ons has learned from her mistake. Novak Djokovic is going to win the US Open. Arena Sabalenka is winning her second Grand Slam. Carlos Alcaraz is going back to back. He's going to defend his US Open title. Coco Goff on home soil is taking home the cake. Goff will win. Hey, welcome back, tennis fans. Here we go. This is going to be an exciting one, and it is going to be the semi finals, and it is the first one, and it is going to be Coco Goff versus Carolina Mukova. Uh, I'm excited for this one. Obviously, Coco Goff is the person I picked to win the tournament, and um, Mukova, somebody who can always give us a decent match, uh, going deep in most tournaments these days, and JG picking her to win this. I'm going with Goff. We're up against each other. Goff the favourite. 1.5 with the bookies. And I believe Mukova about 2.5 or 2.63. Something like that. But thanks to everybody who's joined us. Uh, let me know in the live chat. How do you see this match going? Do you see this going straight sets to one or the other? Or are we going to be in for the long haul and the three relate? sets here in the UK just going past midnight. Hey, hey. And here's the man himself. Oh, pressed the wrong button again. I'm still getting used to this. There yeah, I think we need to change a few of the layouts and put less on there because there's too much going on. You can't get rid of them though, the original ones. Okay. Mm. But yeah, semi-final action. I don't think I can speak too loud today because it is past midnight and yeah, same. There's a few quite, but there's three people sleeping in the house in very close proximity to me. But wow. this should be a good match. I think Carolina Mukova is going to have a little bit too much for Coco Goff and get revenge for Cincinnati. But it's been an electric start from the young American. Yeah, and she's got a game to love. Hold. In the opening game. Ooh, Great start. That is a really good start. Shout out to everyone who's joined us this evening. Great to see Gary in the chat. We've got Todd in with a Mukova 467663. We've got Peter Zaremba in. How are we doing, Peter? Um, who else have we got? We've got Terry Jackson, Cole. Kuhl. Anyone else? Make yourself known now in the live chat and let us know who you think is going to win. Do you agree with me? Do you agree with Ben? Uh, Todd agrees with me. Are you still convinced Goff will have enough? Yeah. I think is it more will. hope than anything? No, I feel like she's just very driven at the moment. She. Have you not been impressed with Mukova though? 
Yeah, she's very impressive. So what like makes she... you think that it's going to be the drive of Coco is going to be enough? I think it will just be slightly more than what Mukova can bring. I feel she's at home. She's changed her mentality on court. That's why I like about her at the minute. She's not taking everything so seriously and she's having a bit more fun. So I think mm. that's what we needed. Sank it in. How you doing, Sank it? Saying, hey guys, I can't see Goff losing this open in three sets. Hmm. So wouldn't be so sure. Let's have a look at some of these points anyway. 15 or Muck of a serve him. First real look of her this tournament because this is the toughest match Whoa, she's had she's to play. Missed that half volley. Good attempt at a pass down the line yep. from Coco. Yeah, great start from Coco Goff. Um, very attacking from Mukova charging the net there on that serve. I don't think it was a particularly great serve, but yet no. she come to the net and points one in the match so far. Six for Coco Goff, only only one for Mukova. So. She's been a bit slow to start off here. Or is Considering fast. all the quarterfinals were basically either bagels or five love or six ones. Are we going to get that again in the semis? <laughs> that would be as well. It looks like the only one player can do it at the moment. It's Coco got 15.30. Taking a long time for a second serve. An awfully long time. Hmm. Maybe she's just trying to settle herself down. Yep. First ever semi final at the US Open. What other semis she been to? Um, Just Roland Garros. Roland Garros, for sure, isn't it? Then quarters of Australia, maybe? I don't know, I'll have to have a look. Not very good off the top of the head. Uh, she's only been Australia, French, and US, yeah. What quarters? No, semis. I just got to the court semis of the Australia. Of Australia as well. Yeah, in 2021. Oh, what, when she lost to Barty? I believe so, yeah. So, I think that's the year Barty won it. I think so. I'm getting so confused with the pandemic years. Here we go. Really good rally. Backhand to backhand. Down the middle of the net. It's Ooh. a weak shot from Coco Goff. Just about gets over. Volley, Mukova. Lob. Coco oh, Goff with a lob. A that is insane. What a lob. The crowd enjoyed it. And we have break point Coco. I mean, that was the perfect shot for her. I mean, volleying it onto her backhand, that's just a nightmare. Just going to lob you. She's going to... This, this so is accurate. one of the first times I've watched Coco Goff play live uh, at this year's Australia, at uh, US Open. Yeah, yeah. Because we've not really covered many, have we? Us I two have. together. Uh, oh, yeah. I mean, us two together, no. But I was going to say, I've been... I have watched bits of the live, actually. Um, but not a full duration of any match this US Open. It's strange, because usually most tournaments I watch a lot of her, so... Yeah. Here we go, second really serve good. on break point. Come on. It's in to the forehand of Coco Goff. It's deep to the backhand of Mukova. She goes there again. And again, oh, Mukova yeah. slices into the net. Oh, it come is on. the early break. Coco Goff to love. For the American. You like that? It's Kim Merrill. It's my match. Let me tell you, I'm knocking women out like one, two, three. Go, go. Perfect start. Let's see. Love. It's not going to be another bagel, is it? Don't know. I just need to grab my hard drive one sec. Serves in. Forehand. Muck of a deep. Oh, she goes down the line, hits the net cord, and it just lands over. Bit of luck. Love 15. The crowd didn't enjoy that one. If you are just joining, hit a like button <laughs> on the video. Let's try and push this one through the algorithm. We've got a hundred people in. It must have been me that was stopping we it. We need to, to. We need to get. <laughs> we need to get to a hundred likes. So please hit that button very yeah, soon. Come on, people, it's the and semis. subscribe if you're new. Semi-final of the US Open. The first one as well. Yeah, I'm excited. Oh, was that in? Must yeah, have hit the outside just. of the line. 
Good Coco, rally this one. very close to going out there, but it was inside the line. The rally's still going. Backhand to the forehand of Coco into the net. Yeah, clever Love from Mukla. She knew to just keep attacking the forehand. Mm -hmm. Very smart. It wasn't easy to do either. Like she was having to constantly keep going back down the line. All right, well, love 30. Could she just break straight back? Uh, we've seen this many times on the Into women's tour. Into the middle of the net. That's a shocking serve. Something she's normally so good at. I think Mukov is attacking this one. She does. It's a good shot. But lets herself ah, down there with the backhand into the net. 15.30. Real let off. Yeah, for sure. I mean, she had her where she wanted her after the return was good. And then the next shot just didn't really follow up on it. Just a poor one into the net. Maybe nerves. It's not I even full, a little, full I think house it's a lapse there. of concentration. Is this serious? Like, why... How have they not filled the? I think what you, I think what you're looking at is the the sponsor boxes. How is it? It looks like there's a lot. No, of it spare looks like seats. normal people though. I know what you mean. Yeah, there's a lot of spare seats. Like, what's going on? Why is nobody filling the? Well, I think there's been like record attendance. That's what I'm a bit confused about. Like, this doesn't really make sense because from a visual aspect, I wouldn't say the atmosphere is that great for this one. For a semi, there's a lot of, of a there's a lot of spare slam. seats. Yeah. Did everybody just I expected save... more. Yeah. Did everybody just save up their money and try and get tickets for the final? Djokovic Alcalaz, is that what they're doing? Yeah, it's not it's not <laughs> a great atmosphere. What do people make of it? Are they surprised? Let us know in the live chat. What do you reckon? What? What did the umpire say? Thank you. The crowd making too much noise, if anything. Oh, great serve, and it's unreturnable. Yes. And Coco Goff from Love 30 down manages to hold and Come consolidate on. the break. Free love. <laughs> the way this is going, Ben. Could we yep. see another break? Yeah, let's do it. Let's keep going. I want to see this be like five love and then... She can just take her time and just play around. The the more she's in front, the more fun she can have. So yep. I'll, I'll, I'll made this continue. Go on and look who's in the Ooh, live chat. The and legend. look who's going to the top of the top tippers. It well, is Sankit. I'll tell you why this is exciting. Because I want to know, Sankit, what is the image you want on the desk? Because you are top <laughs> of the top tippers. Yes. Um, send it over on Twitter, Discord, whatever means you would like. Emails, fine too. And we can get that added to the desk ASAP. I'm not sure if Ben's able to do it in this stream or if it might requires more to. time. But just send it over as soon as possible and we will be putting you on the desk. Kathy being knocked off the desk. Uh, Murph's <laughs> more is gone. The desk. And the question is, what do you guys uh, think about the whole Brad Gilbert saga? Hopefully keeps it to a minimum today. If Goss goes down from here, do you guys agree Goff has a better backhand than Mukova? So there's two parts to this question. The whole Brad Gilbert saga, I, I'm i not sure exactly what you're referring to, but I know there's been a lot of back and forth on the call and she's kind of told him to shut up a few times. He's very vocal. Yeah, but I they think they've got respect. a good relationship. I think there's a lot of respect for each other. Yeah. I think it's clearly a working per a partnership in the fact that they've not been together all that long, but yet we're seeing good results. And I don't think you change them at what works from the tennis perspective. Oh, look, the, the fans are finally coming in. Oh, well, you missed the whole first set. Well done. <laughs> uh, do I agree that Goff has a better backhand than Mukova? Yes, I do. I think that's fair. I'd agree with that. Yeah, most definitely. We're nearly I halfway. don't think Mukova's got a bad backhand, though. I just think uh, Goff's one's impressive. We're nearly halfway to our US Open tip target. If you want to help us try and get there, we're nearly Why at they sit down? No one sit down. Can we get the final hundred? We've got the set, another few semis and a couple of finals to get there. Oh, that was a good serve from Mukova. She's missing a lot, isn't she? Yeah, this is pressure. That Coco, yeah. she's very consistent now, Coco, and that's one thing that I like. She's changed. Even the forehand looks fairly consistent. I think Brad Gilbert's really helped with that. 
know, he's given her confidence to play. What? Are they using People flash flashing on their camera? I mean, what is going on there? Is it their first time? I don't know what's. It's not even as if they're being oh rowdy. God. They're just awful. being awful. Disrespectful. Awful first serve. It's not like the rowdy US crowd. It's just like a slow, meandering, annoying US crowd. Oh, it's a shank. Oh, Coco a Goff big shank. old shank, that one. Get that button out. Strike it's crazy button. because this... I mean, what a chance she's got here, Coco Goff, yep. <laughs> to just finish her off. Do you not feel? She looks there for the taking. <laughs> Massively. She hasn't shown me anything yet that I'd no. suggest she can mount a challenge. Nothing at all. And it just seems like it's deathly silent on the call. I don't, I don't know. know. It's just the the it's stream. A very, it's a no. It's just a very strange atmosphere on that semi final. I don't know what's going on. It doesn't seem like anyone's there. There's just a lot of talking in the crowd, or, but no one's really. And the quality is not quite there. I don't think we're seeing winners really. No, not really. Off either racket. I mean, Coco will just do what she has to do. Oh, someone shouted something finally. And so I went, woo. I mean, it just sounds like that they've all... I mean, what time is it there? They might have all just finished work and rushed there after work and they're just getting their drinks in and food before they sit down. Yeah, I think it's maybe not late enough for the crazy. The earlier Coco matches were so much better. The ones during the daytime, there was like tons of it. It was packed. I think people are just generally just watching and quite intrigued. Maybe. Well, I don't know what's going on. There's not enough people there. Well, this has so the much. ability to be a really tight, close match, but who knows? Yeah, is Sankit sending anything over, or are you just happy just to be at the top and leave Cathy on there? It's up to you. I'm not sure. Is Sankit messaging? I'm not sure. Where? Which platform? Yeah, let us know, Sankit, what you would like on the desk. Uh, by a right of you being top tipper, you get to choose whatever you want. Uh, thank you. It's also in saying I'm going to New York City uh, for watching Djokovic, Djokovic Alcaraz. <laughs> He's confident it's happening. It's going to be so much fun. Well, yeah, I, I mean, that's. Is... I hope you get it, mate. Yeah, that would be awesome. Make sure it you send will... us a photo. That would be cool. Yeah, we'll put it on the desk. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get in trouble, I think. Oh, yeah. Make sure. Oh, ace. Oh. Down the tee. Mukova on the board in the semi final. 3 1. And Goff, I think, has thrown that away because Mukova was there for the taking for the double break. Do you think Mukova's got a big following? No, not at all. I don't think she's popular at all. With Do you reckon fans. that's one of the cause of. The, Potentially. Maybe, I mean, neutral. if this was, say, like a Radu Kanu Coco Goff semi final. Oh, my word. It'd be packed to the rafters. Yeah, there'd be more hype, definitely. I don't think Mukova necessarily think brings in crowds. Her. But she's a good player. Yeah, good brilliant player. player. Yeah. A bit I like Krachiko. I feel like a lot of the Czech yeah. players maybe don't necessarily have the following. <laughs> so many of them coming. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, the, the, really. hopefully the new age can start drumming up a little bit of interest earlier. Yeah, hope so. Yeah, I really hope so because they're such quality players. They deserve a lot more. Yeah, Gary and saying, guys, the crowd reaction is the same as it's always been in New York. Quiet and reserved at the outset. And it builds ferocity as the match transpires. So, according to Gary, nothing to worry about. Second but my experience of drunk, watching, <laughs> no, but from my experience of watching US Open over the years, it often the semi-finals, off memory, do start a little bit more active than this. I feel like they weren't even in the stands. Bear in mind, there's what were they watching before this? They had surely had ages to go and get whatever they wanted, and then just be ready for the start of the match. Tennis is one of those funny sports, though, where if you miss the beginning, then some people are like, "Well, it doesn't nothing gets decided till the end of the set anyway?" I know what you mean. 
It's not like football. You miss the goal. I'm a bit like, like that watching live tennis, though, I guess. And I'm, you know, I'm a big fan of it, but sometimes I don't mind turning up a little bit late. I remember walking around Wimbledon. I've come towards the end of sets to see how it's closed out. Yeah, for sure. It's very popular. You have the privilege of being able to do that, I guess. Yeah. You go remember these are centre court tickets. It's not like there's other matches going on where you can have a walk around. This is the only match going on. Yeah, exactly. Got Coco's box there. He's having a little bit of a chat. Dad smiling. That's what we like to see. Not the as dad nervous. nowhere near the box. No, I mean normally he's, he went. He need, he walks around the stadium when Ooh, he gets nervous. What a Brilliant shot. drop shot from Coco. Yeah. And that's got the crowd going because that's an excellent shot from Coco. Got four one in the first set. You like that? It's been better. It's my match. Let me tell you, I'm not your women. I like one, two, three. Coco. Coco. I still hear on the button. Do you like that? It's Kimbo. <laughs> I forgot that you thought it was that. I still hear that exactly that. I That's mean, crazy, I don't hear man. anything else. I'm I'm realizing how this first set's going to go with the crowd now. So we're only going to get the big cheer as soon as she gets to a set point, essentially. And then when she gets set point, we're going they're going to get much more vocal. But until then, they're going to be pretty mediocre. I think she's played really well though. She's handled this occasion extremely well. That was a great drop shot. I know she had some room for manoeuvring because she was 40 love up and you can take more of a risk, but it's been a perfect performance, I'd say, pretty much from Coco Goff. Yes, done The that. only thing I would say is on that game which she afforded to Mukova, she made too many... Like If she just was able to play a little bit more consistent in the moments, she'd be five love up right now. Oh, for sure. Look at the winners to unforced errors. I mean, Mukova... Nine unforced errors to Coco's three. Yeah, I don't Quite know how accurate difference. that is, though. Probably not. <laughs> it's actually, eleven to five or something. Right? Could it be done in this changeover? Can we get to a hundred likes before the end of the first set? That's the big question. Long way to go, I think. Is it? Come on, there's 100, at the moment. 150 of you in. We should have 100 likes. Come on, people. We're staying up late here in the UK to cover this for you guys. So come on, let's get to 100 likes for the first semi final. Coco okay, just looking look at the serving. Coco just checking out the corner of her eye. Someone in the crowd there making a noise. Hopefully, it's not distracting her too much. No. Nice shot down the line by Coco. Slice. Ooh, off balance, but took the yeah. pace off the ball. Yeah. Goes forehand to that backhand again. She's peppering the backhand. Goes forehand this side. Mukova on the run. Misses. Like goes long. Love 15. Really change up of uh, angles there. Yeah. And really paces good. as well. Good uh, point. Coco Goff. Mukova doesn't look like she has any answer at the moment in these rallies. Sometimes the first set can be deceiving, though. True. She's not out of it if she loses this one convincingly. Serving is long. I mean, she's trying to slow the match down a bit with these very slow serves. Very slow second serve. Yeah, I mean, she takes all the time. Good return from Coco. She's the one. Oh my word! What a terrible a drop shot awful attempt! Awful drop shot from Mukova. It's the bottom of the net. Run out of ideas. Is there? Have you got hay fever stuff at the minute? Or and slightly today, yeah. I feel like I'm just feel like itching. Like and it's not bit. good since the laser eye surgery. My eyes oh. started to feel a bit itchy today for the oh, first time. No. But that's the one thing I can't do. So I just put drops in. They stop. Yeah, now. you can't be rubbing them. No. Danger. First serve missed again. I mean, first serve points one. Even when they go in, she's only won 33%. Serve is in on the second serve, at least. Into a good backhand to backhand rally. Now oh, Mukova. went to the forehand and got away with it. Yep. 
Mukova, I think that's going to have to be her tactic. Her tactic She's there off. for the token, big time. Yeah. Like, she should have bageled over her. It's I insane. Feel we're going to see a wobble from Goff at some point in this match, for sure. Mm. But it's just how long will not, it be I don't for? know. This is impressing me so far. Yeah. But not that much, because I think Mukova's been crap. <laughs> That's a good return. Great depth from Coco. Now the forehand chop. I really think she's been bad, man. Look yeah. This reminds me a bit of Jabur Wimbledon this final. Is, this is very much like, just get the ball back. She's going to make a mistake any moment. Yeah, and she is. <laughs> Every moment. Any moment she's going to make a mistake. Peter, in saying sweat or tears on Mukova's face. Bit of both. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, if it's you out. Lose... Oh, I mean, it's so many errors. <laughs> I'm not even giving the cocoa button. She didn't have to do much. Is that four in a row. I mean, yeah, it's bad. Just gave that game away, and Coco now serving for the first set. <laughs> so bizarre. One because... foot in the final. Don't get yeah. it, really. I don't get it. I really don't being... get it. Because this isn't even being against crazy. against Sir Steyer. Six love, six free. She was so good. And this is the craziest thing about well, the way what Coco's doing in this tournament. She, this match in the last match, she didn't even have to play well at all. And she's well, she much... beat Ostapenko. Six in love, one six hour, two. nine minutes. And she didn't even have to play well. Ostapenko just threw the whole thing away. Coco played all right, just did enough. And that's all she's doing here today. Mukova's just handing her the match. Oh, that's a great backhand from Coco. I think the better Coco plays, oh, the worse it's going to get for her. Good volley. Coco on the roll. Oh, it's in. Oh, what a shot. What, what a, a shot, shot down the line. I like the I, way it looped in. I truly feel, though, it's not a good thing for Coco to start playing too well. Yeah, it might make her play better. <laughs> yeah, no, 100%. I can see that already. Look Coco's, that, that. yeah, that is incredible. Oh my word, just on the line. Perfect. Coco's better off just play, like, going through this little lull and just keep letting Mukova make mistakes. Yeah, rather than trying to play a nice rally. Because if she starts moving around too much, I think uh, Mukova's going to get into her, into her groove. Ready Sometimes when second. you're being challenged more, you play better tennis. We'll see if that... Be Becomes true. Oh, well, yeah. it just did there. Look at that backhand, and she responded with a great shot. But maybe Mukova Coco's might be warm up as well. Oh, a little bit of neck cord now, getting a bit of luck. Good backhand from Mukova. She's attacking the golf forehand. Yeah, that's where the errors are going to come. If... I can see Mukova already growing now. That's how uh, she will come back into the match. She's going to go heavy to Coco's forehand and hope that that inconsistency comes back. Peter's sad for Mukova. <laughs> I mean, I don't be sad saying. yet. Some of bad people here saying this US Open is rigged for Goff and Novak. I get so angry on those speculations. I mean, it's obviously not rigged. They've made it through like by beating who's in front of them. What do you reckon Taylor Fritz could help like that match? I don't <laughs> Maybe. know. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, so could, could have played a bit better. <laughs> You'd have fooled me. Okay, I'm, I believe it now. <laughs> Taylor Fritz is in on it. Coco could be under the cosh here on her serve. Funny how getting to the number five can affect players. Affects she just me. started moving Mukra around. She's got better, I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah. Look, different oh, player now. Slice is good. Oh. Different player. Mukova's actually turned up now, so now the match. Only took her six games. She's warm. Fine, like, it's Second like me. Second set, it's going to be even. I feel like I'm Mukova. <laughs> Worst thing she did was push her wide with that backhand shot. Coco started playing too good, and that caused the issues here. We need to. Well, there we go. Oh, Wide is the break. It is a break. Wow.
favorite one shame she's not really living up to it <laughs> we might get to press it a few more times now now she's starting to play a bit better yeah Sankit saying we need a contest go Mukova Ardo saying just sent you a message on Instagram you checking that at the minute yeah I'm just having a look at that now okay no worries Yeah, if Sankit's saying Frids, Frids, <laughs> Fritz will always lose, rigged or not. Fritz is the worst of them. <laughs> Poor old Fritz. Yeah, sounds good, Ardo. I'll obviously consult Ben afterwards, and we'll um, we'll work on a plan. But certainly, some what can be done for twenty twenty four. Very I'll keen book. and uh, appreciate you reaching out. I'll book a meeting room. Down at GTL headquarters. Seems like an interesting company, actually, as well. I need to research a little bit more about it. Yeah, I was having a look to that. It does look quite interesting. Right, Mukova. She's back. Better late than never. Uh, could she win f uh, five games in a row or six games in a row, should I say? Possibly. She looks like she's playing all right now. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> I love the timing of these comments sometimes. I, would, I think I might be able to clip that <laughs> and put that shot with it. <laughs> I think she's playing all right now. <laughs> Her worst forehand of the day. Oh, now she's struggling. She just lost the ball <laughs> trying to so trying to bounce it. Off with that. Oh, God. I'm sitting in the worst seat. It's like just a dining room chair. I need to swap, I think. Oh, that's poor. The level's not too high. I mean, come on. This is a slam semi-final. Coco was good at the start. Now she's dropped off. Does this mean Mukha was now going to struggle her way back into this thanks to errors from Coco? Because I sincerely hope not. Great serve from Mukova. Forehand bit down the middle. Oh, good depth from Coco. Good backhand Ooh. down the line from Mukova. Yeah, really good. Her net clearance has got slightly closer now. <laughs> what are you eating? Hmm? What are you... No, it was actually a bit of skin from my finger. Yeah. I wasn't eating it. I just bit Cannib my finger <laughs> and pulled the skin off. Cannibalism live on GTL. How you doing, Frank? Frank Faisal. Doesn't want to say hello to you. What? He said it first to me. What are you on about? No. You're second best, mate. No. Hello, Ben. Good evening. You just got a hi. Good yeah, evening. He prefers me. Nah, I don't think so. We got Frank. <laughs> Come on, Frank. Frankie, Frankie gives a song. I want to get more drop shots from Coco. I want to see Coco... Just have that consistent Ooh. forehand again. Yeah, it's looking better now. Oh, no. it spoke too soon again. She's going to have to try and serve out this set, I reckon. Why did I point. say that? i got to stop saying these things. It's completely jinxing it. Emma's in, saying oh. it's more fun listening to you guys <laughs> on the TV commentary. I had to line up the live, line, uh, line up the live feed. <laughs> As you guys are slightly ahead. All good now. Well, that's good to know. Thanks, Emma, for tuning Cheers, in. Emma. Appreciate your support. That's it. Give us a like on the video if you can. Subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Join and the membership. Join the Patreon, more like. And you can see me and JG playing Sebastian Offner on a clay court in Portugal. Uh, it's pretty entertaining. I aced him. <laughs> Stop saying if this is going to be clipped multiple times and then sent to him and he's going to come find you. I'm telling you, I used to be cheated. 
<laughs> he said it was wired. Review the tapes. That's what I'm going to say. I'm going to post that clip just on its own. Look at, yeah, look at the tapes. I wish we had a better camera angle of it. I wish you could zoom in. <laughs> Ardell's confirming JG did ace I'm him. I'm telling you, I've aced him. <laughs> he cheated. Zoom he, in. It was funny, though, at the time, because you got, you didn't have time to even do any serves, and you did one serve, and it actually had him scrambling <laughs> <laughs> to one side. I'm I did telling think you, I aced the, him. I, I did think at the time, like, oh, no, he's done him. What? He's probably thinking, oh, no, what's happened? It's one serve. And then he That's came, what I needed. He, he even came over to the line to check it. I was shocked. I'm telling you, it was in. He was like, yeah, out, yeah, definitely. You out. weren't he rubbed, expecting he it. He rubbed the mark away pretty quick. He was like, yeah, 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 definitely out. Game, Mukova. 5 3. Now the pressure's on. Coco Goff. Is she going to buckle? Should have had this set done. She's played Mukova into form in the match. And I don't think it's going to be straightforward <laughs> now. Yeah, it's, it's, it's more competitive now, at least. Sank it saying, I'm watching your stream in my office. Uh, so much fun working while hearing you guys. Nice one. Thank so you. You're at that. a desk watching us sitting at this desk or listening to us from this desk. Anybody else watching us from a desk? Todd, what's he doing? <laughs> Has anybody got us on the TV on the big screen? <laughs> I'd be interested to know that. <gasps> oh, it's just wide from Mukova there. It's unlucky. Oh, they were also watching from the office. Gary probably watching from his home office. Or on the beach somewhere. 15 love. Come on, Coco. Just close out this first set. We hopefully, he's going to start seeing some signs from Mukova that she's... Oh, yeah, my she's... word. What is that? It's terrible. Balloons I, the floor. I kind of favour Mukova now. I feel like this is... It's quite even. I don't favour either at the minute. They're both making the she odd She should have had this set done as well. Should have been six love. A little bit more consistency from Coco. Yeah, don't let the demons creep in. And I don't mean Alex de Menor. Oh, that's yeah, a great here backhand. Here she comes. Mukova, she's attacking. And Coco defending. She's oh, good great now. depth from Mukova. She's really attacking the forehand. She knows the error's going to come from that side. The drop shot's not good, though. That's not the best smash. And oh! Coco's got there and he's gone in the net. Mukova. That's She's going to get this one back on serve. Disappointing. From 5-1 up, Coco go. Disappointing. I mean, there she should have put it away. And on this top she should have got net. back in play as well. Yeah, I mean, she was. She should have gone cross court. Can't miss right. them. Wasn't that hard. Yeah, Sankit saying I feel she was nervous and now she's playing very good. Yeah, I, th I think that there was a bit of nerves at the start. It definitely... Looked like the occasion. I felt the. Mo I saw the moment when it, it switched. It was just a yep. really good backhand from Coco. <laughs> Pressured her, and that was the worst thing she ever did. Now Mukova's. Yeah. She's just a w awaken the beast. Yeah, she definitely looks switched on, doesn't she? Now she's like she poked the bear. Yeah. Oh, she's doing everything right now. She comes yep. in, she volleys, great approach shots, two yep. break points. Could be back on serve. Oh, within it's a matter of time, yeah. Look of a favourite for the set. I'd say. <laughs> this set's gone completely differently to how we thought it was going to go about 10 minutes ago. Yeah. I did have Mukova winning the straights, though, and this is why. That's true. You did have that. Wouldn't it be typical if she just comes back and then gets broken <laughs> on the next service game, though? Come on, Coco, fight. Yep. Oh, of the net. useless. Bottom forehand. of the net. Here she comes. Can't believe her. Never seen her. It's Carolina. More go Well, this match has switched up massively, yeah. and now 
I say it, I, say, I keep saying it. Mukova is favourite for this set, in my opinion. I think she's looking the better player. She is less looking better. errors. Yeah, no, she's looking like she's hitting with more intent now. She's pushing Coco back. I just realised in that button I, when I made it, I didn't realise the the lyrics actually. I didn't even intend it to be that way, but it was. She don't rush. She'll take her time, and she definitely does take her time. Yeah. Look of her on the serve. serve. Took her time to get serve. into this match as well. Couldn't be better fitting for her. And I'm cheers to Ardil there. Flying. Ardil. Oh Thank my you. god! What a top beast. of the top tippers. Sankit didn't even get a chance to get a uh, picture on there. And uh, Ardil saying, "Game to Love podcast sponsored by Otter Set." Is that the correct way of saying it? Yep, that's right. Amazing. And yeah, I do. I guess what we can do is get that logo. If you send it on Instagram, we'll get that put on the desk right away. Yeah, ping it over. And we're now only $56 away from our US Open target. We're nearly there. Thanks to all of the people who have donated during this US Open. Yeah. Do appreciate that for sure. It is, of course, better if you can do it via the PayPal because <laughs> YouTube don't take so much of it. But whatever way you want to work, that's fine. Yeah, for sure. So Tommy C off the leaderboard, and we've got Ank uh, Ankit Ardil oh, overtaking Sankit. <laughs> oh, here we go. Come on, Goff. She's got a good start here good on the Mukova first one. Come on. I want this is exactly what I want to happen. Mukova spends all the time coming back and then just throws it away whilst trying to do the final service. Cheers, Ardo. Appreciate that, mate. Oh, good return from Goff. Playing a little bit loopier now, Mukova, but that's great depth with the backhand down the middle. Probably both playing down the middle. I mean, come on, someone take a chance. Mukova still going down the middle. Oh, she's and, missed on top yeah, of the I net. Mean, that is volley on top of the net. Didn't deserve to win that point. Not she changed all her. She tactics. was hitting it hard. Though. I don't think it was that bad. Just hard down the middle. I mean, sometimes mm. it's going to work. If but Coco looked pretty solid. She, there. she still should have won that point, man, Mukova. Mokoba. This is what Coco's given herself a cushion. That's oh. what she's done with that scoreboard. <laughs> Oops, I just realised Ardo was already on scoreboard. <laughs> I put two of them on there. Oops. So he's on 55. And then Tommy can come back on the lead. Oh, yeah. it's into the net. It's going to be come three on. set points for Coco Goff. Turned it around. Come on. Yeah, cheers, Ardo. The PayPal certainly is better, for sure. I think uh, YouTube take like 33%, which is quite a chunk. Maybe more. Yeah, yeah I mean, get their little mitts on it, don't they? Serve into the serve net. Come on, on. come on, I'm going to go proper US Open now. Yeah! Cheer every serve in the net. Coco looks focused though at the minute. Good forehand. Into the net. Coco Come on. Goff has done it Come with a game on. to love. She takes the set. 6-4. It wasn't easy. <laughs> and Mukova was getting back into it. But Coco held firm. You like that? It's getting better. It's my match. Let me tell you. I'm not the women. I'm like one, two, three. Coco. So we just had uh, Coco Goff there sitting down while Mukova actually leaves to to go off and have a toilet break. Uh, Coco Goff actually just having a little fruit salad there. Why not? <laughs> Sank is saying Ben had Goff winning, right? That is correct. I did have Coco Goff winning. 
the uh, yeah, she sat down, and I you know, I don't see this very often, but she had a instead of normally they have like a banana, they have that. She had a little um, Tupperware of fruit salad. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> just get a little fork there, getting stuck in some grapes, just living the dream. I mean, having a fruit salad down on Arthur Ashe. What what more could you want? Uh, let me know uh, your predictions for the second set. I mean, do you see Mukova coming back into this? Or do you think Coco Goff going to get it done in straight sets? Pop your predictions. Uh, give them as accurate as you want. Um, you can just give a score or you can tell me how you see the set going from start to finish. But tell me in the live chat now. <laughs> Right, so I want to hear your predictions. The second set, I feel that Mukova was actually playing quite well up until that last game. Um, I feel that this set is going to go to a tie break. That's what I'm going to go for. Martin going with Goff all the way, 6-4, 6-3. Alexander going the exact same thing. Sal saying, Coco, she is the best. Terry Sankoko is going to the finals. And we got uh, Rajendran saying, congratulations, Coco. Go for it uh, in the second. That's the way. Maximum energy. Capricorn saying the tennis hasn't been so pretty so far. Sophia thinks Mukha will win the second set 6-4. Sankit saying, seems like Goff practiced with Novak and it is happening for both. Uh, not sure JG agrees, uh, but I actually feel Novak winning this will be really special. And even as a Rafa fan, I will tip my hat off to that. Well, if he has to beat Carlos Alcalaz in the final and he beats him, I think, yeah, it would be incredible. It would be up there with one of his most difficult I'd say opponents ever in a final I mean surely the older that Djokovic gets and the better that Carlos Alcaraz gets the match and the sort of amount of skill required to beat someone like an Alcaraz at, at an age that Djokovic is I mean it's what an achievement it could be right we're into the rallies here and Coco goes wide on her backhand down the line. Sal going for a 6-4-6 love. AC reckons Ben Shelton is going to steal the show. If you are just joining, make sure you have hit a like on the video and subscribed. It, we're just gone past 1 a.m. here in the UK. And there will be another match coming up after this one. It will be Madison Keys against Alina Sabalenka. And Covey will be taking you through that one. It'll be a nice time for him to cover in Vancouver. Oh, just curled over the net. Forehand chop is long from Mukova, though. Weird decision to come in and use that. But she made her mind up and went for it. Sankit reckons Goff has to do it in two else Mukova will get momentum. Yeah, I feel like both of these players, momentum players. First serve, oh my word, it bounced so far up, it nearly went wide, but just in, gets another serve. Serving now. Great serve. There you go, it's long, it's 40-15, just what Coco needed. But make sure to push the other one back. I don't think it's going to be starting in 25 minutes. Maybe push it back to, who knows, it might be starting in an hour, that's more realistic. All right, Coco serving here. Second serve at 40-15. Oh, it's just landed on the line. But Mukova, yeah, she's firing those. Nice winner inside out. Forehand from Mukova. 
40 30. Stare into the muck of a box there. The winners so far are only classing four winners for each player on the official statistics. Coco doesn't want to get broken early in this second set. Second serve for Goff. Sin. Forehand just over the net from Goff. She needs to get a bit more depth. That one she did, and it's long. And Coco holds massive hold at the beginning of the second set. You like that? It's getting better. It's my match. Let me tell you, I'm not the women. I like one, two, three. Coco. So, Coco Goff, one love. Mukova to serve. I mean, if she gets broken here, are we going to see a repeat of the first set? There's the crowd are starting to get a little bit more rowdy now. And yeah, Ardil, let us know if you want to send in anything to go on the uh, uh, on the desk obviously we've still got Kathy's bits on there at the minute but it's up to you there's something going on in the crowd at the moment try and listen to see what's going on there's someone shouting a lot I think someone is going to be is someone going to be ejected or someone's shouting a lot and they're delaying the match I mean, I'm not sure what. I'm not sure what they're shouting. All they're doing is just delaying everything. Coco just staring at the back wall at the moment. And there's some. I don't know if it's booing going on at the moment or. You can't quite tell what's going on. And now Co uh, Goff's gone to her box just to maybe just get a few tactics whilst this interruption is happening I'm not sure what's going on but everybody in the crowd is looking one way just to try and see yeah Brad's just saying that they'll get him out any second somebody just causing um, a, a, just a pain pain in the backside to be honest don't know why they're disrupting the whole entire match I think they're out right yeah I think they've just got him out but it's just like, why? How long was the st that stoppage? Two minutes? Yeah, must have been. I wonder if this is going to unsettle Coco a little bit. Well, I hope not. I mean, it's just so needless that this has to happen. I mean, it's taking long enough to get this person out. They're just letting I feel them like they're out. What, what's happening then? There's people now moving her out. Yeah, everyone's coming in now. Is this now classed as a changeover? They can just, everybody can just wander around? Oh, but there's an issue actually. Someone's on the court now. What, an, what a fan? No. <laughs> Yeah, it's one of the organisers. I'm not, sh I'm not sure what's going on, but Mukova's coming to the net now. Is it a, a medical timeout? What? What's he talking about? Medical timeout. She called a medical timeout, Mukova. Yeah, maybe. Maybe right during this disruption, she'll just have a medical timeout. How weird. Just to add to it, I mean, Mukova's done this before, ma'am. It's the Barty match. It's not the first time she's done it, and she's not going to get any fans if she does this now. Get the towel down. <laughs> Lay down for a bit. 
What about an off court medical time? Coco Goff just got into her I bowl of fruit. I know. <laughs> this is what I was saying when you left. She's got this like little Tupperware that she just has a little fork. I don't see any other player with this. Quite like it. I mean, what is taking so long? <laughs> Compliment King. That's <laughs> great, JG. <laughs> Get like him it? out. Get him out. The chant. There's a chant. Get him out. How can I they thought not? I they got him out. That... Why is it still going on then? What are they doing? Wrestling with him up there? Or what's going? What's happening? Yeah, what poor organisation, man! All of this. She's like, this is funny. <laughs> as long as she finds it funny, or is that just a uh, way of distracting from the how disruptive? There we go. Here's the medical timeout oh, from look of it now. Look of it. Don't do Hope it. Hope she loses. As much as I wanted her to win, I thought she was going to win. I hope she goes out now really comfortably. I want her straight out. This is gamesmanship at its finest. Yeah, Mukova just Absolute got Absolute disgrace. Two Mukova's not getting any fans like this. Now. She's talking about the arm that she's got the sleeve wrapped around. She's like, take one of these tablets. Coco Goff going back on the court just to uh, now practice some serves. Even though she's not serving next. See, I'm still going to keep going on about this thing that I said before, and I'm going to keep saying it. For moments like this, so that the person taking a medical timeout doesn't get an advantage, there should be a neutral hitting partner that can just come onto the court, and then they can just keep on warming up and stay warm. Yeah, but I think it's that's not fair. the same, is it? No, but just, just so that they, if they want to hit a crush He wants to hit and rally, mate, when you've got a match. Yeah, but I'm just saying just to stay warm because they get out of the swing of it. You see how many times you, their, their forehands and backhands all go to pot after they've come back. And that's why they do it. They get cold. I hope Mokova loses. I hate players who do this medical timeout nonsense. Chapeau. It's a classic chapeau. There must still be somebody in the crowd because they're all looking up there still. They're all watching what's going on. They're all cheering something. I really don't understand what's taking so long. I don't know if they're booing Mukova, some of them. No, they're looking up. It's everyone, no one's even looking at the court. I can't see my eyes aren't permitting yeah, at the moment. They're, they're not quite zooming bad. in on it. They obviously don't want to make like highlight what a shambles this is. Stoppage in play is that the best that they can just put up? Sank it saying, I feel three people shouted in protest from the upper deck. Protest against what? It's not just stop oil again, is it? <laughs> Bro, <laughs> not seen them yet. <laughs> I know it's about a big old paint pot. Well, like they only do it in the UK, though, right? I don't know. Probably. What's happening now? No one's looking at court. Look, they're all stood up looking the other way. <laughs> no one's even bothered. I mean, I, this is not good for me at all. This is just ridiculous. It's already late as it is. I know, isn't it? Hurry up. I've got sore eyes and it's just taking... Put your glasses on. Time. Your uh, sunglasses. I don't know where they are. Oh. oh I feel like I'm going to sneeze now as well. Oh, God, this stupid tickling. Ah, It's like someone's put a feather up my nose. <sighs> are they just speaking Let's see if I can work out what's happening on Twitter. I feel like someone might know. Yeah, someone might know. It's just, just one guy that they're all crowded around. Can't they just get him out? It's a protest of some kind. What, has he chained himself to the... Someone's protesting. If Coco Goff loses this match... Yeah, now, it is due just to... a oil. It's fossil fuels. Stop fossil fuels. 
guess it's the yeah, same. It looks like it's the fossil fuel people that are standing up. The fossil fuel gang. Well, we had it at Wimbledon. I guess it's going to keep happening. I mean, I think their cause is right. I just think the execution isn't. But then, why is no one's ever going to listen to these people if they don't make such a scene? I mean, all this oil stuff, people, it is a problem. How else are they supposed to get the word out? Yeah. Five to ten minutes. Is that a joke? Yeah, maybe put some music on or something and we'll have to come back. I don't know, I'll just sit here for a bit. It's fine. I don't mind. Put some music I've got, on. I've, I've not got any what <laughs> we, we They're going off the music. court, Ben. No. They're gonna have to get all the police on. One sec. No, they said, can I leave the court? They said, no. Oh, she said, get... they, they asked if I wanted to leave the court. She she said to her box, and should I go leave the court? And they said, no. She said, depends how you feel. Yeah, so they're negotiating. Why? And she's like, why are they negotiating? Just Why are they not just telling us what needs to be done? It's no poor organisation again. They don't even know what they're doing. They're not prepared for any of this. Mukha was gone. Mukha was <laughs> anything gone. anything to delay right the around. match a bit more. <laughs> Mukha <laughs> that man. Mukha comes back, wins 12 games on the bounce. This is the best thing that could have ever happened for Mukha. I mean, what's the point in Coco staying out there on her own? This whole thing's ridiculous. What a mess. I mean, this is a shambles. It's just typical, isn't it? Have they I mean, chained themselves to the seats? Is that what they've done? They've got fossil fuel t-shirts on. I can see the t-shirts of them. I mean, uh, is that all on Twitter? Or? They're anti-fuel activists. The guy in the grey is refusing to leave. Maybe they're they could just shouting. Give him like an Refusing to leave. Anesthetic. <laughs> and then just continue the match. <laughs> just so he sleeps for the rest of the match. Yeah, they're just not leaving. Let me guess. In today's society, you can't make them leave. They just um, have to leave them there or what? I've got a good video. I wonder if I can download it and share it. Yeah. So yeah, see if we can send it. Or upload it. See if we can upload it. If you can download Yeah, that'd be it. awesome if we can. I just need a hand. How do you do it? Have uh, you got it? Where is it on Twitter? I'll do it. Alright. You're the man. I mean Oh dear. This is just not what we were hoping for. Yeah, Ardo saying someone bust a cap. In this protest, uh, let's get back to play. <laughs> it's crazy. What, well, that would cause even more panic if the gun was fired. <laughs> no, no. That's the last thing we need, I think, Ardo. I don't think that's going to be a calming the situation down. An itchy uh, trigger finger policeman. Ooh, what have I just done? I don't know. I don't know what you're doing. Downloading a virus, maybe. With Sal saying, my English is very short. What happened to Mukova? Por favor. <laughs> uh, well, nothing really has happened to her apart from the fact that she started terribly. Then she came back and started playing well after Coco Goff got into a rally with her finally. Woke her up. She won a few games on in a row and then decided on the final one that she would get broken really easily. And then in the second set, it was one love, Coco, and now they've just gone off because of this protest. 
I'm surprised they don't have like flares or something like that. Like or a big orange flare. I think I've posted it's not seemed to take a while to upload. Or like one of those uh, orange smokes. Tell me if you can see it. That's what's going on pretty much. Where are you uploading it? Onto the I've video? I just sent clips. it on Twitter. Oh, you sent it to me. No, I've, I've tweeted it out. Oh, okay. Can we show it? I think you can, yeah. Let me have a look. Um, where did you where did you send it, it on whatsapp or something no i've tweeted it oh you've tweeted it oh okay got it i'll have a look um oh yeah the fossil fuel brigade is that what you write I mean, you had to buy a ticket to do this as well. Uh, what's going on? There's a little bit of cheering happening. I'm hearing some cheering. I don't know if they're cheering for anything other than maybe the guy moving. Could the guy be moving? Roll him, roll him, roll him. Get this match rolling. Uh, unfortunately, there is a pause in the action. Uh, maybe I'll put a little mini banner up saying uh, play suspended due, due oh, the, to protesters in the crowd. Yeah, like that. Yeah, so unfortunately at the moment, that's the uh, state of play. And the crowd, the only reactions we're getting from them are maybe to do with <laughs> them maybe getting these protesters out of there. Um, Sankit saying, I can't work now without <laughs> the match <laughs> and your guys' commentary. Well, I, we'll, we'll stick here and just uh, try and take you through what's going on. But there's no actual tennis going on at the moment. All that we've got um, is this a uh, frustrating scenario. I might go and just put the kettle on just one sec. Don't mind if I do. Uh, I will be back in just a jiffy. But I feel like may as well. No better time than to put the put the kettle on. I'll just leave you with this for a sec. kettle on just for a little bit oh, I mean where do we start I mean this, we've got this I'm mean, just gonna have a look on Twitter I'll just type in US open protest to see what's going on and I'll try and update you uh, Adrian is that everyone enjoying the tennis yeah, it's great Thank you, Sam. Is this my music? This is not one of mine, I uh, have to say. This is uh, a YouTube music. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't take credit for this one. But I do like it. I do like a bit of a reggae style. 
yeah, YouTube give you like some royalty free music you can use. Capricorn saying, look, that owes me a quality tennis match. Yeah, I mean, I've got, I'm sure I've got a whole handful of songs I could put on there. Yeah, this one's a fun one, though. Maybe I can add on some song I was making last night. See what you guys think of it while we're waiting. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to be a real song or not. You can give me your thoughts in the comments section. Sanket Sankan JG also sing. Uh, I'm sure he can sing the odd bit here and there. Yeah, why not? Um, if anybody wants any player buttons played, send us in a super chat. We'll get any player button played that you like. There's a load of good ones out there. I've been, for some reason today, singing uh, the Alex de Menor button. I don't know why. It's just stuck in my head. Sometimes it's like that with these buttons. They just get stuck in your head. reading through some of these comments as well. Agents, I think most fans want the Goff Sabalenka final. Yeah, see what you think of this weird little thing that I made last night. While we're waiting, we can go through. Yeah, Gary, that's not one of the not one that I made. It's like a uh, stock one from YouTube, but I do love it. I think it's a brilliant little reggae one. Uh, Sankit saying, do you have a Ben Shelton button? Yes, we do. It's a really good button as well. It's a, it's the old husky rock uh, button that is the Ben Shelton button. Yes, we got uh, the Ramden, is that how you pronounce it? Saying, I hope Goff doesn't lose momentum. Todd saying, what does Keys need to do to beat Sabalenka? Be first to the punch. That's what I think that she needs to do. Just really go out. Very, very attacking. And take the game to her. If she does that, I think she's got a chance. Thomas saying, does this move the Madison Keys match to a later time? Yes, it does. All the matches, all the semi-finals are all played on the same court. So... Line I saying the Shelton button is amazing. So is the Shelton celebration. Well, it seems like it's fitting that he gets himself a good button, doesn't it? I think he deserves it. Oh dear, oh dear. But yeah, let me know what you think of this little uh, tune I was making last night. I sat up just for a little bit and. Uh, just playing around with a few bits and bobs. all that's been made so far <laughs> so uh that's the only bit that uh you get to hear but you can see it's going somewhere on that one uh cheers capricorn saying ben that's good music sank it saying wow this one is nice appreciate that guys um yeah i think it's got a nice chill vibe it's got a nice synth in there and uh, we've got the random saying you guys are great disney and spectrum feuding and uh blacked out our US Open since last Thursday. Oh, wow. Gary saying, Ben, fantastic. I used to be addicted to new age music. 
this has some of that mystery yeah exactly mate exactly what i was going for uh glad you like it i like that sort of style it really gives me a bit of like a an 80s feel that type of music i really like it muck of her just having loads of treatment done at the moment she's just sitting down there laying down there more like just having her what looks like maybe like some hip exercises back exercises line i saying could be a tribute song for both carlos and novak above the rest of the field we got carly youtube in saying just checking in too scared to listen in my nerves well at the moment there's no tennis going on so you don't have to worry too much if you're just joining though remember to hit a like on this video and subscribe as well it really does help the channel grow Yeah, how crazy long is this interruption? It's just ridiculous, in my personal opinion. Do you want to hear another song? I'll see if there's any other ones which uh, which we can play. See if there's any other. Mm. What else have we got in there? Any other, like, unreleased gem? <laughs> There's loads. This is the problem. When you make music, all you do is you sit there and you make the song and then you only make uh, <laughs> a minute's worth of it and then you think, right, on to the next one. But by doing that, I ended up being perfect for making player buttons. And that's why I'm, I am seem to get it nailed down. I'm so good at making the first minute of a song or the chorus of a song. But just... The rest of it, I, it's easy to lose interest or to, to build the rest of it. So, I mean, I was playing along, playing around with something else the other night. I mean, this one you might like. It's got a bit of a darker vibe. Yeah, Capricorn Zone. You should do an, uh, the soundtrack to an indie film. Gary saying, as an old timer, I am of course partial to the 60s and 70s music, but the 80s produced some great, great stuff. Yeah, it definitely did. We've got Peter Zaremba in saying, electric storm in our parts, power on and power off. Oh no. Well, hopefully it stays power on for longer. And, uh, oh no, TV service out here. Well, lucky you can still join us on YouTube. Um, hopefully you've got enough battery. Do you have a generator, Peter? Do you have power of some description? Carly YouTube saying, stay strong, Coco. Yeah, this other one. See what you think of this one. This one's a little bit darker. It's a little bit repetitive, that one. I've not really uh, gone too far with it yet, but you can tell it's got a good vibe. Could be built. Something something good could be, could be built out of that one. But Peter's saying, no generator. But I can hear our neighbours. Hmm. Maybe ask if you can uh, send an extension cable through. What do you reckon? Pass one through for a bit. Just get your little power on. Sank it saying now this is a music podcast. Still fun. <laughs> Frank Pizer was back. Come on, Frank. Frankie. 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 It's not Frankie Four Fingers, is it? Now, let's see what other tunes I can put on for you. Let's go through my plethora of random tunes which I have created over the years. Uh ones that will probably never be released. 
Yeah, I mean, there's tons of them. Got, they've all got weird names as well. They're normally dictated by the day that I make them. I normally just put on the, say it's a Thursday, just like Thursday night. Normally at night when I'm making music, not normally during the daytime. I don't know, I feel like it's just get a bit more creative in the night time. Yeah, I've been trying to uh, write some lyrics for another new song. But finishing songs is a very difficult thing if you are a musician. That's especially if you're on your own as well. Solo, trying to finish songs, one of the most difficult things, I think. I think if you've got a band around you, a little bit easier because everybody's pushing each other to try and get the get the track completed. Uh, yeah, what else have we got? See what you think of this one. <laughs> Another one. I'll take you through some of these interesting sounding tracks. <laughs> trumpet in is pretty damn good i do love a good trumpet in a track one of uh, my favorite instruments to try and add in i often try and add them into the uh the player songs because they're normally a sign of like a celebration that type of thing I like to add in a trumpet sort of brings the track to life in the uh like the bridge or the final chorus that type of thing just really gives it that that extra thing similar to the uh like my wimbledon theme that i made i mean still to this date i think it's one of the best bits of like orchestral music i think that i've made but it was helped with dylan as well he was playing the drums yeah movie soundtracks this is what one of my other friends said to me i mean he's a incredible my friend andrea uh he can mix so well and he can make movie soundtrack stuff that sounds epic and like very very good he said that i've got the potential but obviously i'd need to learn the fine tuning of uh mixing and all of that i'm not i did a few mixing courses and stuff like that but it's so it's just such a skill that you have to very well do over years i mean you can't just pick it up and put it down it's very difficult so yeah peter saying there goes the u.s opens uh hour 15 time frame for this man <laughs> yeah that's it yeah boy coffee who's going to be covering the next one saying looks like i've just waltzed into a jam session yeah, Covey, it'd be good to have some of uh, your dulcet tones on a button at some point soon. That would be really nice to hear. But I'm sure you've all heard my the Wimbledon one that I created. I feel that it just fits the Wimbledon feeling. And that's the one thing. Like when I don't think I've ever captured something before when I was making it and just thought, yes, that's it. For me, I think it's better than the actual Wimbledon theme, and that's just not this. <laughs> Blow my own trumpet, trumpet now. Um, I know that the Wimbledon theme is iconic with a... Dun, 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 dun. Is that the Wimbledon theme? I think that's the Wimbledon theme. I've forgotten now. But yeah, I like my one more.
Peter saying, Ben, potential. I've been there. Connections. Love to hear that, Peter. Apparently the protester glued the feet to the ground. Hopefully it wasn't oil-based glue. <laughs> Maybe this will build us up for it. Fantastic. Uh, music for the Olympics next year. I'll have to get started on a new track for the Olympics for sure. Uh, I do like to try and have one specifically for each uh, Grand Slam. That's it, Carly saying this is championship music for sure. Most definitely. It gets me going. As soon as I hear it, I feel like Wimbledon has begun. Oh dear, how long can we wait for this? I mean, it's getting a little bit ridiculous. It's getting a little bit ridiculous. Trying to see if there's anything else that we can play in the meantime. I'll have a little look down the list. Coming up to two o'clock here. I was going to make a coffee, wasn't I? I boiled the kettle and just completely forgot about it. Let's have a little look down there. See what else we've got. <laughs> oh yeah, there was this track. This was just like a uh, one that just comes with logic. I didn't make this one. I think it's always a funny little uh, soundtrack. <laughs> it's, it's like a makes me think of like Texas or something. Give it, it always makes me feel happy listening to that for some reason. I don't know why. It really does. Right, what have we got? We've got Dave in saying, not a violent protest anyway. Fans are staying in the area of the protest, drinking their honey deuces. Yeah, <laughs> your boy said it reminds me of Dukes of Hazard. Yeah, it does a bit. It's a little bit of that vibe, isn't it? Oh dear! Let's see if we can fit it all on one. Yeah, that's a bit better. 
Looks a little bit neater. Yeah, that is country. Yeah, if Go if Mukva comes back and wins this match, the Goth fans are going to be going bananas. What is going on? I mean, how can it take this long? Just get a load of big security, lift them up, handcuff them, take them out, put them above your head. I mean, what more? Trying to see if there's any other like really old ones that. I mean, there's plenty. There's so many. <laughs> it's just an unreal amount of uh, old stuff that's just never been used. Crazy. Just having a look through it now. I'm not sure what's going on at the moment. They've got tournament organisers. They're sort of just standing there talking to each other with the headsets on. Yeah, I've got one song, actually, that I don't think I've ever played before. Whether or not it'll ever be released, I don't know. Maybe I can play that one. Why not? Might as well, isn't it? First time release. I'll I'll let I'll let you decide in the live chat. Do you wanna hear do you wanna hear a song? This one's actually got some singing in it and stuff like that. It might be a bit more entertaining. <laughs> The song is called Said and Done. Dave's saying more hillbilly hour at the desk. <laughs> Maybe we can have hillbilly hour. Can be a new segment on GTL. Can't believe got to work in the morning. What are they doing? The neck hurts. It's all sorts of problems. That's the least of the worries. The fans are like, all left, just gone to go get food, drinks. Emma's saying, well, they have to refund the tickets. They should make that protest to pay for everyone's tickets. That's the fine. King of Just. King of Just in the building. Come on, Emma says, yes, enjoying your songs. Appreciate that. Gary saying, what's everyone's opinion of Cancun and uh, Mexico being chosen for the WTA finals? Well, wasn't it Guadalajara before? Is that Mexico as well? Not the right city in Mexico, in my opinion. Gary only likes going down there on spring break. That's why he thinks that they should move the WTA Tour finals to spring and then have it in Cancun and then the big party zone going on. Well, Goff's about to come back out on call. Capricorn saying, look, it's 3.47 a.m. in Sofia. Come on. I want to watch Madison Keys. <laughs> oh, my word. Yeah, maybe I'll put this song on. We're going to have to wait a little bit more. So let me know what you think of this one. I feel like it cuts off the beginning of all of them when I press play, but that's fine. Let me know what you think. If you're, I'm always up to hear some reviews of stuff that's never been heard by any of the public ever before. Fix our broken hearts 
so many tears have run when it's said and it's done. It's said and it's done. It's said and it's done. We feel like we want to run. We've only just begun. When we used to swear our face to face Now we're holding hands and we're making plans Cause we finally understand Sin and it's done Sin and it's done We feel like we want to run Cause we've only just begun Sin and it's done Sin and it's done could get completely lost in all these tunes in the best possible way thank you so much mate yeah so that one's never been heard before by anyone else in the world it's a little exclusive for you called said and done when it is said and when everything's said and done hopefully we're gonna see a good tennis mat <laughs> right let me go and get that coffee they're warming up i'm gonna go grab that coffee i'll leave you with the old favorite a uh, bit of reggae.
Right, here we go. We're back. I'll take the thing off. There we go. And I can hear them playing tennis again. That's better. Finally getting some rallying back. Backhand to backhand they go. Slice from Mukova down the line. Cross court Coco. Big power from Mukova. And forcing Coco quite deep behind the baseline. Good backhand on the run from Coco. Slice down the line, Mukova. Coco answers, goes down the line, but Mukova's got that bullet of a backhand. She comes to the net. Coco tries to pass, but doesn't manage. And it is a volley that goes into the open court from Mukova. Cheers to Joanne Spencer for becoming a member of the channel. If you are in the live chat, let us know. Who's your favorite player? Gary saying we were just privileged to hear the world premiere of some of Ben's musical creations I feel honoured seriously oh thanks Gary serves in from Mukova yeah poor shot there from Goff does go wide <sighs> And I'm dreading this potentially going to three now because if it had, we'd probably be already over by now. We've got Drew uh, Finn Kelson saying, I'm embarrassed as an American for this delay. Sorry, fellow tennis players. <sighs> yeah, I mean, it was far too long. A whole hour. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Good return there from Goff. Nice inside out forehand. Mukova's backhand's a lot more solid right now. Goff forcing her back though with her backhand. And it is long from Mukova. Oh my word. Can't breathe. This bloody uh what do you call it? Hay fever. Don't know where to put this coffee. Muck of a serve in 40 15. Good serve, good return. The volley's not the best, and Goff passes down the line. Brilliant backhand. And Coco's box there. Really, really loving that one. Goff on the run with the backhand is a great sight to see. She's so good at it. Serving here, 40-30. This game gradually going back to Coco Goff. And then she goes into the net and all that hard work undone by just one poor forehand there from Goff. And we're level at one game each. Just did enough there. <laughs> Emma saying... Well, the dishes are done. The washing is on the line. Back to the tennis. Where, Where is it you're watching from, Emma? Let us know. What time of the day is it? I mean, here it's 2 a.m. And I can confirm the dishes are not yet done. I was going to do them when <laughs> it's finished. But now uh, I should have just done them in that interlude, really, instead of just uh, giving you all that music. Good backhand to backhand. Cross got forehands, good. Mukova couldn't handle it and goes long. Tanya saying, great. Mukova's coming back now. I mean, it's not played into Coco Goff's favor having such a long break. She was looking, I mean, she wasn't looking her best, but she was still, I felt that she was still in the zone. Mukova. Maybe slightly out of the zone after dropping the first set. Mukova, poor backhand this time. I feel her like backhand down the line is better than her backhand cross court, which you don't really get with many players. Seems to really drive the backhand down the line. And that cross court one. Just in the middle of the net. 
Emma confirming 1 p.m. in New Zealand. Fantastic. What part of New Zealand? Oh, my cousin lives over there. Oh, it's a poor return from Mukova. The backhand, another error. Yeah, Drew saying the US Open security needs to step it up. Canada mapping in. How you doing? Slice from Goff comes to the net. Yeah, and there's that cross court backhand again. It's very weak. And Goff was just waiting at the net. It's a game to love. Goff, please do this in two. Do it for me. So, Auckland. Yeah, I think, yeah, that's the exact same place she lived as well. Small world, isn't it? I've never been. I'd love to go to New Zealand. Sounds like a great place. And does it not quite have as many creepy crawlers as Australia? I feel that Australia has all of them. <laughs> Drew's going goff in two. Please, I mean, send the power of a uh, group... A power of a group mind can really get uh, something happening. If we all say Goff in two, it might it might happen. I bet there's some Mook of our fans not wanting to say that, so we probably won't get that. <laughs> Canada map and said, "How did the, they get the guy's feet off without ripping? With without ripping them, you mean? Or do you mean how did they get them off? Just?" By ripping them. I don't know. I didn't see how they got them off. They didn't, surprisingly, they didn't televise. They didn't want to give the person any camera time. Game to love into. There you go. Hopefully she does get a few games to love. If she could break right now, that would be perfect. People coming back in again and sitting down. <laughs> Backhand from Mukova. And then the volley is a good one. Goff's there, but Mukova's going to put that away with ease. Mukova. Oh, Naomi Osaka in the crowd. Great to see. Two-time US Open champion. Serving, 15 love. Misses down the tee. I'll have to turn that lamp away. It's a bit, a bit bright. It's a little bit better. Sort of. Cool, good kicker out wide by Mukova. And then there's that brilliant backhand down the line. 707 saying, Ben, I didn't think you would cover this match. Here we are. <laughs> Later than expected. <laughs> Canada saying you're doing the next match too. No, Covey will be doing that one. I mean, he's welcome to come and jump on this stream with me if he's free as well. It's entirely up to him. Nice inside out forehand from Mukova. Oh, the net cord goes back our own side. All right, 30 15. Come on, Goff. I don't want to seem biased, but I am. Takes so long on serve, Mukova. She's really just making this even longer. 
good forehand. Mukova always struggles with that one when Goff changes the pace up on the cross court forehand. It kicks up and she can't handle the height. Thirty all. Window of opportunity. Oh, Mukova's fired a forehand into the net with power. And it's break point golf. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Mukova taking forever. Where's the shot clock? I want to see it. I want to see how close she gets. Because she definitely takes the full time, in my opinion. Good forehand. Goff just keeping it in play. This is how she was getting errors out of Mukova in the first set. Both of them. Very tentative rally. Goff starting to move her around. Forehand to forehand. Now Goff just loops it up. Now goes forehand into Mukova's backhand. And again, she comes to the net. She volleys. Can Mukova lob? She has. Coco can't reach it. Brilliant lob from Mukova. So, well saved on the break point. I don't know if Coco's decision to come to the net and volley there was the right one. I feel that it was a, not the best approach. Straight to Mukova. Didn't, wasn't making a scramble or anything. Was able just to pick a, the next shot. The volley wasn't, it wasn't low enough. Your boy saying, just finishing dinner, and I'll join you, Ben. Appreciate that, bud. Nice forehand from Coco. Good depth. It's gone forehand chop there. Slice from Mook. Forehand chop. And now they're into a bigger rally, but Coco using that chop too much, and it's affected her forehand. Canada saying, Covey, thank God you're eating. <laughs> Does he not normally eat? At least the crowd getting a bit more involved now. Mukova to serve with the advantage. Yeah, really good serve. Mukova holds 2-2. Two -two. And after saving break points, that was significant in this second serve. Can't believe her. forehand falling apart at the moment that one going long it is love 15 you don't know which way this semi-final is going to turn next good serve blocked wide from Mukova Coco needs a solid service game now just to show that she can exert her do dominance on this second set. I can get break points and I can hold confidently. Sends a message. Zach saying, whoa, it's Ben here. <laughs> it's so late in London. Yes, it is. Good serve there from Coco. And it does go into the net from Mukova. Minchi saying, is that Ben singing those tunes? Yes, it's me singing those tunes. Mokova. There you go, there's a the proof. Fault. Clip the net cord just goes long. 
If you're just joining, make sure you have hit a like. I haven't mentioned it in a while, but yeah, please make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Double fault from Coco Golf. 30 all. Not sure if we're up to 100 likes or not. I'll have to have a quick check. Let me see. Too many adverts, I don't know. Ah, my God. Coco, yes, puts away the forehand on top of the net. Oh, we hit 100 likes a long time ago. We're on 122. Thanks, Minchi, saying uh, our awesome vocals. We got uh, Dav, Dav Joe saying great commentary. Spectrum customer here. Hmm. Zach saying, this is the reason why we love you. Your dedication, top tier. Appreciate that, Zach. I'm sure it won't be long until we get you back on. Probably clucking to cover another match. Oh, good hit in there from Coco. Brilliant. And she does hold that service game and doesn't have to face any break points. That's a good sign. You like that? It's getting better. It's my match. Let me tell you, I'm not the women. I'm like one, two, three. Go, go. Go, go. We got Tito O saying, Ben, are you married? Uh, I'm engaged, which is close to married. <laughs> Soon to be. <laughs> there you go. Zach jumps in and confirms. Soon to be married, I think, despite the late night YouTube stream. And yeah, I know. I can't keep it down, otherwise, it might not happen. Especially as uh, she's got to get up early in the morning in about th three hours. Hopefully this doesn't go on for another three hours as I'll still be here. Looking forward to getting to bed at some point. But hopefully Coco can just get this done in two. Coco coming back out on the court. <sighs> just before... Oh. I was going to say just before we uh, <laughs> got, got into the match, but we're going straight uh, straight into it. Nikki saying, what does the M&M on your desk stand for? This is Murph's Morphs, which is Kathy's company that sells geckos and uh, other reptiles. She's on our top tippers leaderboard. Ardil will be sending a logo for us to put on the desk soon. And... Because he is top of the top tippers. But until he does so, we will keep Kathy's on there. As she has been a very long-standing loyal member of our society. Of our family. Fifteen love. I mean, it's out, but it's literally a hair out. Serving now. Oh, it's a good serve. Yeah, muck of a serving well. Taking her time. Exact same, Benny. You're going to release a full album about tennis players. Many of us are eager for it. Haha, <laughs> excuse the pun. I'd even buy the CD. Well, no, I guess I wouldn't since I have nowhere to play one. But seriously, you'd have it on your phone probably. That's the way everyone has everything these days. Unless you're proper old school and have got like an iPod. Does anyone use them anymore? Right, 40 Love. Mukova showing that she can fly for a service game. Wasn't she 40 love on the last one and ended up going to 40 30? And 
Another coffee gone. Nice backhand down the line from Coco. Slice from Mukova's poor. It's gone straight into the net. 40-15. Zach saying, uh, Nicky saying, thanks for answering my question. No problem. Zach saying, a few of us were requesting one the other day on the Covey stream is doing. Your songs are getting better and better. That's good to know. Which is your favorite recent one? Tell me your favorite recent song. Tito thinks a Ben is a good person inside and out. That's correct. A correct statement. Serves in. Forehand clips the net cord. Coco attacks. And Mukova can only use a forehand chop, which flies long. And it's the same as her last service game. Faulty love. No, actually, her last service game, there was break points, weren't there? But she still was leading and then ended up facing break points. Yeah, Zach, and they actually make me like some players more sometimes. They definitely make me like some players more. Mukova's one of my favourite buttons. Definitely makes me want to watch her play. But if anybody wants to hit any player button, send us in a super chat and I will get one played for you. It's into the net from Goff and it is uh, three games all. If you're just joining, remember... Hit the thumbs up. I know you can't hear it, see my thumb. It's doing some weird thing. But yeah, make sure you do that. Subscribe to the channel. Um, Mukova going to change a racket. Got the purple grip on. Coco Goff famously has my tennis racket. And look who it is. It's Covey. Hey. <laughs> How you doing, mate? <laughs> Good evening. 2 a.m. for you, huh? Oh, mate. 20 past two now. Yeah. Hey, if at any time you need to go, I was eating dinner, but I'm all good now. I'm I'm satiated. I got uh, some wine with me. I even got nice. coffee for after dinner. Amazing. So if, if it's getting too crazy for you, let me know. I don't mind rolling. Well, let's, uh, let's see how this set goes. Yeah, I I'm hoping Coco that. can just get it done and then that'll be my decision made. Oh, it's long from Mukova. I'm just logging into your sky bed over here. <laughs> Why not? Probably be ahead of me if you use that, I bet. I'll make sure I put the volume down so it's not catching my mic. So Zach's the Ben Shelton one is impressive. Sounds like a pro singer. Also, I know this one uh, is older. I just found out that it was created by from JG Simply Talking. Which one? But TFO. It's so, oh, the TFO one. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it wasn't just from talking. He tried. He he just was messing around, singing a song potentially for TFO on a stream. So I cut it out and auto tuned him. Oh, <laughs> I thought you actually just took like a clip of him speaking, and then turned it into. So it's actually. I, mean, I you... guess I guess it makes sense because he is saying like, "Oh, Francis," like that. He's doing yeah. that. Yeah, he yeah. was just saying that. He was just said, "Oh, it would probably go something like, oh, Francis, <laughs> what you do to me?'" <laughs> it's a that's that's one of my favorites too. That's an underrated button. <laughs> it's yeah. funny. I did have fun making it because he didn't even know it was being made, and then it mm -hmm. came on on one stream, and he had to watch it. Him singing it. Nice so, four, uh, forehand from Goff there. Good rally. That oh, Mukova, that's terrible. Backhand rolls along the floor into the net. Come on, Goff. <laughs> okay, finally, I got the feed pulled up. Here we go. I'm completely biased on this match. I'm happy to say that I am, and I just want Goff to win, and I want it to win nice and easy. <laughs> yeah, I've had that feeling before, too. You know, you're dead tired, and you're just like, okay, let's wrap it up. Yeah, not even that as well. I just want her because she's my winner of my US Open oh, bracket. Yeah. So I want her to win the whole thing. So I just want her to win as in as easy as possible. Mm. I want her to crush players. She's coming to the net. Oh, she's missed an easy one on the net. Ah, she's still got a couple game points. Oh, it's frustrating though. Those type of ones can get stuck in your head. Mm. The easy ones are the ones. 
that you gets know, stuck in your head. She, I, I really liked how she she closed out the set. I think Mukova was also kind of the culprit. How she, yeah, she was down one five. But I was I was glad that Coco didn't let that get to a tiebreak because oh, that would have been nice. Brilliant Beautiful. serve. Come on. Coco, just eight points away now from a is spot that... in her first ever hardcourt final. Is that coffee or wine that you're on at the This minute? is uh, first coffee. So I just, you know, <laughs> I had a, had a pretty good amount of dinner. So I figured if I start having wine, I'm going to get tired. And if I'm jumping on this stream and then have the other one, I was like, I don't want to get too tired. So I'm going to have the coffee and then maybe I'll crack open the wine for the, for the yeah, next match. I know what that's like. I think I've had in the past done a match well back to back matches if the the key is don't start drinking on the first match yeah. <laughs> because if you do it on the first match like by the second match i'm like exhausted especially if they go to like 3 a.m that i'll yeah. be falling asleep on the stream so for the first time in like two or three years i use i used the wrong clip when i was trimming my beard so i almost feel like like a a, a boy a little little kid because <laughs> normally it's like you know, I always have a little bit of a beard, but it's a certain level, How and now it's happen? smaller. So, did did Gobi remove it? No, no, it's it just uh, I I have the different clips, and I just put the wrong one on. It didn't it didn't bother me, but it was I just like when I, when I was doing it, I was like, it was funny because my first thought was, I hope Gobi recognizes. It. You know, I, not I like saw a part. funny funny uh, clip earlier on. Someone had made like this funny sketch of going for a sleepover with their dog. And then uh, the dog just falls asleep straight away on the sleepover. So he draws a face on him or something. And then <laughs> he falls asleep. And then the dog shaves his eyebrows off. <laughs> I think I saw that, actually. It's like an IG kind of like one yeah, of those yeah, stories. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. It's quite funny. I yeah, it was... it was really. And he, I think he actually shaved his eyebrows for the, unless he had really good uh, makeup or whatever. Yeah, possibly you must make up, <laughs> I think. Surely you wouldn't actually do it. Hey, Tanya, how you doing? From Australia, Alexander reminding everyone reminds me of my pick of Owens Jabert. Oh. Todd Hill, he reminded me like four different times in, in like two streams. Uh, <laughs> yeah, mate, when you make a wrong prediction and there's all these people watching. Yeah, I mean, I've only made one right prediction. That was Saba winning the Australian Open. Other than that, I picked, um, well, the Fritz one was ridiculous, but. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, every time I pick Alcaraz or Djokovic, it's Digging the opposite who wins. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, that's a poor return into the oh, net. Especially off a second there. What do you make of all this protesting? Uh, you know, I think uh, when I was w watching on the chat or when I was uh, commenting, and I think Tanya was asking, like, why, why don't they show the like what the protesters are doing and what it's about. And the reason is because they don't want to give more people credence to do it in the future. Yeah, for sure. And so to me, it's kind of silly because you're not really, um, Oh, nice point here. Overhead. <gasps> she just missed the smash. Wow. That was an easy one too. She it was missed right wide. on wow. top of the net. She went wide. Unreal. Oh, that could be the turning point in this, it, in this second set. It really could actually, um, if she loses the next point, I think the set's done. Match, yeah, for sure. Uh, I, I think, think yeah, be... very, very much. It could be a huge turning point. Let's have a look. I See if SWL will be a correct predictor of a 6-3. Misses the first serve. Taking her time, as always, on these serves. But about the, the protest, what bothers you, bothering me the most is I felt like the energy of the crowd was picking up. Yeah. And now it's kind of it never really got to to fully uh hit a crescendo. Yeah, exactly. Totally. Good forehand there. Goff doing well on the run at the moment. Keeping the ball alive with that forehand chop. And now uh she always messes it up. After she does the chop, she always mess goes long on the on the other top spin. Always. Yeah. It's like the, feel, the calibration after I the I understand that because I know that i do that shot and it's hard to adjust your grip back to the other grip to hit the forehand mm -hmm. so maybe i should avoid doing it as well <laughs> jg's always going on at me saying stop doing that yeah. <laughs> stop <laughs> chopping it 
I mean, sometimes it's necessary, you know, like Coco couldn't really get the forehand there. That was a smart shot. And it reminds me of her prowess on, on doubles, but yeah, you gotta be aware on the next. This is a massive point. Coco, good forehand there. Keeping this one just in play, really. Just looping it up, hoping for an error from Mukova right now. Is she going to go bigger on that forehand? She does a little bit, but Mukova pushes her back with a backhand. Yeah. Forehand cross court from Coco. Now they're just down the center of the court, really. Neither player really wants to go too close to the line. Slice down the line from Mukova. Backhand down the middle from Mukova and Coco goes long eventually. Just long. I mean, yeah, good rally, but uh... you've got to think. She had the opportunity at one point there, Coco, on a forehand that was short to go a lot bigger. She, rather than just go out like that, going long, at least go for a bigger one. Yeah. Just try and fin end it early when you had the chance, because all she did was lose the point anyway. Both players were definitely playing that very tentative. Yeah, I mean, it was a huge point. Huge, yeah. Misses the first serve. <sighs> Could be an entering business end. Coming right up. Ooh. Oh, it's a double fault. Yeah, the pressure getting to Mukova. Mm -hmm. And it is Deuce. Coco not out of this game yet. Always get some levity from Ghost. Because he's never made a wrong prediction. He can relate. So he can't relate to us. Pretty sure when they retally the results in a week, Peyton Stearns will come out as champion. She definitely will. Serving at Deuce. Good serve. Good return. The volley is not good enough for Mukova, and she gets past. Beauty. Come on. There you go. Breakpoint opportunity. Crowd are getting going now. Yeah. Finally, this is what I was really bummed about for both players. Because, you know, when you're playing in a semifinal of a Grand Slam, you want to feel the energy. And uh, that kind of killed it. But here Maybe we go. She's just warming them up for Madison Keys. Yeah. Madison Keys could win. Yeah. Do you, do you, what, what chance do you give her? I think she's got a really good chance. I feel that she has to be aggressive, though. If she's not, then she's going to lose. I, th I think the average rally length on that in that match is going to be two point something. Yeah, yeah. It's just going to be serve, trying to finish it. Oh, you didn't? I fin I'm finishing it. It's or second error. serve again for Mukova. She had a double fault last time. It's in this time. Forehand down the middle. Very slow shots from both players. Oh, it's into the net. Co uh, Goff's got the break. Oh. <laughs> cough. I keep calling her cough. What's happening? <laughs> That was kind of a situation where she was playing it safe and it worked for her. Yeah, because she could see Mukova tightening up. For sure, and, yeah. And yeah. Uh, she made the error. It's almost like the beginning of the match all over again. That was very much a mini match point. Serving for the match. Coco Goff. The crowd, come on. Give her some respect here. Great first serve. It's in. Second forehand. Cross court's in. Mukova playing defense. Forehand's there. Mukova. Yeah, it's long from Mukova. Well left. 15 love. Three points away. Come on, Coco. This would be Pick epic. Pickleball tan line. There we go. So my eyes don't get all shaded. <laughs> all right. Three points away. Serving. No, into the net. Come on, we need those first serves in. If you're just joining, make sure to hit a like and subscribe. Goff second serve is in. It's long from Mukova. It's terrible. I mean, what is that? Go so for the far kill. along. I mean, I don't know what Mukova's going for there. Someone in the crowd, maybe. I, I, what, is something up with Mukova, like, physically? No. She's just not. She's just not handling the nerves at yeah. all. I mean, she had quite a long few tournaments, deep runs, and some big tournaments. So, 
Maybe she fatigue be, is catching up to her. She should be well versed in. Mm. Oh, it's a double fault from Goff. It's a really bad one as well. Yeah. It's not even close to going in that one. That was about a foot wide. Yeah, she's just going over. Maybe it slipped the racket in her hand, potentially. I mean, it did look quite considerably wide. Mm. The crowd really roaring now. Oh, that's... Uh, what's that guy's name? He's in that the show Hamilton. The, the play. I've seen it. Oh. Sorry. Serves in from Goff. It's blocked back. Good depth. Oh, good inside out forehand from Coco. Forehand. She comes to the net, but not a good approach, and she gets oh. past. Yeah, I mean, that was. An, she's done a few bad approach shots today, Goff. She just feels like she has to come in. You don't have to go in. Like That, that was, was not a great. I mean, it's not flat enough. It's not low enough. It wasn't even near the side. Like, she didn't push Mukova off the court at all. That's a great serve. She pushed her off there. There you go. Whoa, that's a brilliant drop shot. And she sets up match point with one of her best one-two punches of the whole match. Match point. That was a sick combination. That what serve way? was phenomenal. I think Mukova must have hit that from 12 feet outside the doubles line. What a serve and what a drop shot. Match point, Coco Goff for a place in the US Open final. Oh my word, Mukova's got it in just on the baseline. She goes drive volley. Coco Goff saves it, but it's put away. She saves the match Ooh. point, does Mukova. Yeah, I mean, that was. She looks Pretty... like she got a bit confused there, didn't she, Coco? Mid midpoint. Yeah, she got on her heels there. It was good on Mukova to, to come in and put that away emphatically. Yeah, I mean, that's a massive one. Oh, she messed up the ball toss. Have another go. Don't take a second-rate ball toss. Oh, just long. Too much power on that serve. Why, why are we seeing a replay of that? Why do we need to see a replay whilst she's about to serve? <laughs> Ridiculous. A good serve out wide. She's opened the court up. She goes down the line, but Mukova's there because there wasn't much pace on it. Cross court forehands, Mukova hitting her flat forehand down the line, but more down the center now. And a big power for Mukova now, and it's forced the error from Goff. Oh. <sighs> Goff. She had match point. It's pretty gutsy from Mukova for sure. Yeah, I mean, she's playing well. Uh, when it matters, if you're just, just joining us, Hit that thumbs up and like the video and subscribe. Goff had match point. Now she's facing break point. Or breaking point, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Coco's mom, very oh, serious. Oh, my word. It's a poor serve again. So far long this time. Second serve for Mukova to have a look at. It's in forehand down the middle from Coco and Mukova is going to have to just go for this and attack. She can't just play this silly game. Let's clip the net as Coco there. Ooh. That's a bit better from Coco. A bit more aggressive. That one's more passive. And that's so poor from Mukova. It's slice into the net. Yeah, you could tell right when she hit it, it was not going to make it over. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't the right. She was hitting down. Low, yeah, really... low contact point and yeah, and she was going downwards. You're right. Yeah, it didn't look like the right technique at all. 17 sure backhand unforced errors for Mukova in this. Wow. That's a lot. It's definitely not A-grade Mukova today. But still, she's still in it. Serves in from Goff. Down the line from Goff. She comes to the net. Oh, my word. Mukova's shot was too powerful. I mean, yet yeah. another bad approach shot from Coco Goff. Yeah, and Mukova's backhand dipped heavily after it crossed the net, and that made it a nightmare there for Coco. She just couldn't handle it. Pop up. Yeah, I mean, she's got to make Mukova be on the stretch, or at least know as soon as it leaves her racket the angle where it's going. Because at the moment, she's coming in, and it's going straight to the racket of Mukova. Yeah, she's not Yeah, she's not making her move uh, on her approach shot. She's... she's she... Looks like she's just being a little safe. She's, I mean, you don't want to go for the line, but you know, go for a foot inside, not four. Oh, so the forehands let her down. She's blasted it oh. miles long, and it is the break. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh. As but, uh, we're now coming into the break, I want to say thanks, everybody, for joining us for this semi-final. Make sure to hit a like and subscribe. And if you want to support the channel and if you want to see myself and JG play against Sebastian Offner, then sign up to the Patreon. Here's a sneak peek. It's going to be a DTL first. Less of the talking. This is business. Do you think that we'll be able to win a point? If you have a little bit of luck. Oh, this is a fighting tour. We're going to see if we can return any of Sebastian off the surf. That's the killer. <laughs> There you go. So hey. you can get instant access to that amazing challenge if you sign up to our Patreon for as little as three pounds a month. Nice. So did you guys know him before? Like, did you contact him before? You met him there, and yeah. you got yeah, to... yeah. We contacted him before we were in Portugal. Yeah, and then he said, "Yeah, when you're when you're here, just we'll set up a date to have a little hit on court." So we just did that challenge with him. Yeah, it was Sweet. good fun. Yeah, that's cool. That's very, that's, uh, I'm excited to see that. Well, it's still an opportunity here for Coco in this set. And she did it in the last set at the exact same moment. Mukova mm -hmm. was serving. It was 4-5 and she got broken. I'd love if I recall. Yeah, I mean, it was hefty. So, <clears throat> I need to get some water, but that's just about to kick off. That's fine. <laughs> Serving here at 4-5. Good serve. Coco very short in the court. Good volley from Mukova. Coco's in. Good, another great volley from Mukova at oh. the net. That was, an, I, I, that was a great guess and volley. Yeah, I mean, on the stretch, yeah. not easy. I thought Coco was actually going to go up the line there. Yeah. I mean, it's not the... the it's better to go cross court, but... Uh... It's almost like she caught it right on the top of the racket. Yeah. Yeah. Impressive. She's been clutch here in the last five minutes or four minutes, Mukova. She's going to need it. Serves a good one. Great return from Goff deep. Backhand to backhand. Goff needs to remain aggressive. Do not go into a shell here. Now she's gone long. <sighs> she had match point. Yeah, it's a big moment. I mean, trying to find your way into your uh, home Grand Slam final. I think uh, it's definitely she had she's had to think about that match point now. I wonder if it's still lingering in her mind. It's got to be. Serving here, thirty love misses the first serve. Definitely looking better than the end of the first set. Serving takes ages for second serves. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a great backhand. She's got Goff moving around. The volley's not bad either. Goff goes for the lob. It's a really good one. Mukova's. Oh. Is that going in? It is. Oh my God. And Goff gets it back. Volley from Mukova. Goff. Oh, what a pass. Whoa. What a point. Crazy point. Both women chasing down lobs and then lobbing off of them <laughs> unreal unreal yeah it was a really good return from mukova to make that yeah reset the rally and that kind of turnaround forehand from golf was no easy shot either brilliant the, passing the second shot. Last shot yeah that's a give her a lot of confidence she needed that yeah 30 15 Serves in, sliced by Goff. Forehand power. She comes to the net. Good volley. Is Goff going to get there? She is, but Mukova's right there. Mm -hmm. Mukova's coming to the net quite a bit here now. I think I did say tie break this set as well, which is very weird. I forgot my prediction. <laughs> yeah, I do that too. I'm like, what did I say at the beginning of the set? Oh, that forehand pass was Yeah, that was incredible. a beauty of a forehand, but she finds herself 40-15 down. 
despite that amazing shot. That's why the Mukova does hold. And that is the consolidation. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, Saul in the house saying, oh my, Goff. So we're into it here, folks. Goff serving. We're at five all. And we got a backhand up the middle, Muhova. Backhand slice, Goff. Forehand, Muhova up the line. Goff with a lob attempt, but Muhova hits an overhead on that, but it's neutralized. And Coco Goff hits a forehand into the alleyway, and it's now love 15. So some tense moments here. Coco Goff had a match point. Wasn't able to convert on serve. Sorry. Um, yeah, on her serve. And then Muhava consolidates after breaking. And we're level here. But a beautiful backhand from Goff up the line. And that's a winner. So. Oh, this is just, it's just not simple, this match. <laughs> Yeah, the feel like the momentum right now goes to Muhova a little bit. Yeah. But not out of the reach of either player yet. That's a good bit of depth from Goff at the moment. She needs to get it past that service box. Mukova's doing it a lot better. Yeah. Goff all around the service box. And now she's getting forced around. Oh, Mukova's missed an easy volley. Oh. I thought she actually missed that forehand on the second last shot, but that was, yeah, that's a bad miss there. I, I don't know. I, so I haven't watched the whole match, but has she been coming to the net quite a bit? Because right now it seems like she's kind of turned the heat up coming to the net as much as she can. Yeah, oh, she on. wasn't. She didn't really even get a chance to in the first set. Mm. I mean, she was abysmal for the first six games and then sort of started to come back. So we didn't even get to see much net play in that. First set, uh, definitely a tactic she's using. She's able to get to the net because she hits it so deep, though. Mm -hmm. She's forcing Goff. Like, Goff needs to do the same. That's better. Yeah, that's what you approach. Better, a lot better. See, where was that earlier? It was it's the too, nerves, I think. Yeah, it's got to be. Yeah, like she just... was too nervous to go go harder and deeper without going out. Yeah, can't afford to second guess her own ability. Brad looking nervous. EG. Goff serves, is in. Oh my word, what a fast return, but somehow Goff's kept it in. And that's wide. Wow. Incredible from Goff. She's got at least a tie break now in the second set. Yeah. Let's not use the tie break, please. Mm -hmm. I don't think she's, my nerves can handle it. She's eating oh, her fruits, baby. Yeah, she has that. How many pots do you reckon she has of that? I'm not sure. She's really she wolfing a, a, them down, isn't she? Yeah, she she always has a couple of bites. Fruits well, are really she, good. I've been eating apples when I'm when I'm on court these days. And plum. Yeah, I haven't really been having any of them. No. No, maybe the odd banana. But bananas have too much sugar. I know. I got to watch. Uh, apples potassium. have so much fiber that it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I eat more oranges and stuff like that. I had a few grapes. Yeah. Can't really carry them in your bag, though, as easily. Did you guys have, like, uh, like in over here, like football, soccer? We'd have mm. uh, orange slices at halftime. Is that a thing over there? When I was younger, yeah. Yeah. There was always like one of the mums of like uh, one of the players in the team would just bring them along. And then it was always good when it was one of those days. 
Yeah. It was better than when you just had with the water bottles. And then they bring over this whole thing of loads of orange segments and just chopped up. And everybody's, yeah. yeah, I don't know. That just, it was a lot nicer than just drinking water. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I, I was, I always wondered if that was like a universal thing because in hockey, there's no real food that you, but, but like when I think of orange slices, the first thing I think of is, is playing soccer when I was a kid. What do they have in baseball? Uh, sunflower seeds. So yeah, have you ever heard, I don't know if they have them in the, in the UK, but they're called Spitz. It's a company with just like the flavored sunflower seeds, like barbecue, ranch, and all that stuff. Um, although when I was younger, they didn't have too many flavors. It was pretty much just plain and barbecue, salted and barbecue. I didn't even know they had anything. And sunflower then you graduate. <laughs> and then you graduate to tobacco if you if you play baseball long enough. They're always spitting, chew oh, on the on the dirt. Lovely. Yeah. What a, what a lovely. Th- no no one in the uk does that it's a very it's a very american thing yeah i think germans have their snuff and and my swedish buddies have their snooze but that's still different right the crowd starting to try and affect this uh muck of a service game already you can see any missed serve is being applauded and there's a double fault and that's gotten a round of applause as well I mean, Mukova's definitely nervous. You can just see yeah. the big moments. She's like tightening up, and the crowd don't—they don't help. You know that they're all against you. Yeah. <laughs> she's got like however many twenty, thirty thousand people just bearing down on her, hoping she misses a serve. It must be a quite an imposing feeling when you're yeah. just thinking everyone in that stadium wants to erupt if you miss your serve. Mm-hmm. Um, what's in this time good depth from Mukova she's really hitting it deep Coco doing well to stay in at the moment still another great shot Mukova playing well in this rally now she's gone slice oh no Coco with a forehand chop she's going to go to her forehand and she normally goes long she hasn't this time though and and Coco comes to the net Mukova tries to pass oh it's hit the net corner oh Oh, so close. He was there. It was the same tactic, though. Did you realize that like, Mukha was picked up on it every time she hits the forehand chop that the next shot is was normally out? Up. So she instantly went into that forehand again. Mm. You can tell she's picked up on that, but yeah. Goff still looked, still had the opportunity to win that point. That volley off the strings and it danced on the top of the net there for a <sighs> sec- second before it rang so back. Unlucky. 15 all serves in good return from Goff. Maybe just oh, that's a brilliant forehand. Oh. Finally, huge. Mukova Had a nice depth, heavy scampering. Top Hard for Muhova to handle that after it bounced yeah, on the she run. Was running fast to try and get to that. Got Daryl Patterson in, so new to the channel. Hello, guys. Hello, Daryl. How are you doing, mate? Where are you watching from? And uh, what time is it there? It's coming up to 3 a.m. here in the UK. Serves long from Mukova. If you're just joining as well, remember to hit the like on this video and subscribe. Helps the channel grow. Mukova with a second serve that she takes nearly a minute to serve on the second serve. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's just in. Forehand to forehand. Down the middle. Mukova better angle there into the corner and then goes oh no she's gone too big she's oh gone long. no and it is match point again for coco goff match point in some ways it's unfortunate because she has the gall to go for these shots what but it's fighting her error? in the butt right here i mean she what a time to really go for that shot though i mean brave but all stupid which one is it I mean, it was it was only out by about six inches. If that goes in, that's a beautiful shot. Um, but yeah, you're, I guess you're right. The the margin could have been a little bit shorter there, but I I find that like the players who go for it usually it pays off in the end. Here we go. It's in good forehand cross court from Golf. Oh my word! What a winner there down the go. line from Mukova. There's an example. She had to unload. <sighs> well, on that one, she had to end the point because of 
She was on the full stretch, but that what was a incredible. forehead. Incredible. Yeah. What a shot. That was and a rocket. Full stretch and yeah. a rocket on the line. And it's a match point number three now for Coco. Can she take it? Third time lucky. She better take this one. <laughs> this serve, I mean, come on. It's a good serve. It's in. Great depth from Coco. She's got to go aggressive here. Forehand cross court from both. Now backhand down the middle from Mukova. Coco answers. For forehand to forehand. It's looped up by Coco. She's asking Mukova to hit it. She's doing it again. She's looped it up again. Mukova doesn't want to hit it. Now Coco's going to hit it. Oh, she's overdone it. Overcooks a forehand. Lands about 7 to 10 inches inside the alley as she was trying to go inside in for the match. Oh, she just overdid it. Oh, yeah, she just hooked it. Yeah. You can see she her made face. contact above her head on that one. Yeah, I mean, was it the right shot to go for? Maybe. Maybe, yeah, I think. I mean, she had to try. Mm. Forehand unforced. There is 20 for Goff, they're saying. That's crazy. Serves in. Goff into the middle of the court. Muck of a deep with the backhand. Now she's going with slice. Goff with the top spin. Now playing it into Mukova's backhand again. Mukova doesn't want to go for it. She's just looping it up now. Goes into Goff. She hits the baseline Ooh. there, Mukova. And Goff doing well to stay in this rally. And it's into the net. And we're going to have another match point for Coco. Come on. Match point. Number four for Coco. Unbelievable. The crowd wants to erupt. You can feel it, but they're just so, yeah. they're kind of subdued, right? Yeah, um, you just don't want to jinx it. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Match point number four. Oh, my word. It's just wide, luckily, because it was Ooh. a bit of a bullet of a serve, that one. Second serve. The crowd, some people shouting something. Second serve on match point number four. Backhand cross courts in from Coco. Down the middle. Mukova going bigger forehand pushes Coco back. And pushes her back again with the backhand. Now she's gone slice. Coco's gone forehand chop. She's probably going to go into forehand. She does. Coco can't control it. And there's that tactic Same again. Thing. Yeah, you, you caught that, and it's happened already three times in the last four That's games. It. Mukova's worked it out. She knows where to go. That's the biggest tell from Coco is you do that one, you know it. Coco should already be reading it. That's what I mean. Second guess now, she knows she knows. <laughs> and and so, also, she, she doesn't have to go cross-court so extreme every time. No, she's going big. Time. I think that it goads her into it. Serves in. Coco, great backhand return. Mukova forehand into the corner. Now backhand very awkwardly from Mukova there. Cross court is long. And we're going to have another match point. Seems that she can only do well on the match point, Mukova. <laughs> match point. Wow. Five. Gotta gotta believe she can get uh, one out of five here. Maybe she just needs Mukova to do it for her. <laughs> like save her the trouble. The crowd trying to help her at the minute. Delaying Mukova's already delayed serve. Serves in. Oh what a serve. Coco's got it back. Drive volley's too good from Mukova. What a time yeah. to serve big. Well, Protecting, protecting yeah. her house right now with everything she's got. If you're just joining, make sure to hit a like, subscribe. It is two hours on the clock, but we know it's been longer than that because we had an hour delay due to the protest. Coco Goff has had five match points now. Still yet to get this match put to bed, but Mukova is the one who's stopping this match ending. Misses the first serve. She seems to just 
not be as good on this juice than she does on the advantage yeah. side. I don't know why. She doesn't yeah, seem to serve as well. well. Second serves in. Coco goes down the middle, really. And looping it up. Oh, it hits the baseline from Coco. I mean, she's the tactics Coco's using at the moment is just very loopy shots. Is mm. she going to come in? No, she thought about coming in. Look of her attacks. I mean, don't stand there on the court. Oh, it's landed in, luckily, oh for Coco. Gosh. And now she's going deep with a good forehand. Now she goes cross-court with a forehand. Mukova answers down the middle again. Gosh, clips the net cord there, Mukova. Forehand cross-court. Goff's equal to it. It's now... Oh, it's landed on the baseline from Mukova. Looped up by Mukova. Coco, is she going to hit it hard? No, down the middle again. Both <laughs> of them down the middle. Mukova sliced down the line. Goff answers it. Slice from Muk cross court. Goff answers that. Slice again. Goff goes cross court. Mukova on the run. Goff flicks it back. Slice from Mukova. Goff keeps it in again. Wow. Drop shot. Goff comes in. Puts it away. Come Aaron. on. Match point. Match point. Come on. What a point. Crazy. Those two, those two shots. Each either player hit uh, hit the baseline in the middle of the rally. Uh, margins are just nothing right now. Forty shot rally. I was saying twenty four. Holy crap! That type of rally, losing it, can be devastating to your mental, and that might have done Goff's confidence more. This is match point number six. Is this her moment? Come on. Now's the time. Cometh the hour. Cometh Coco Goff. <laughs> Come on. Think biblical. Good return from Coco. Forehand cross court. Down the line from Mukova. Goff looping it up. Backhand. It's long. Coco Goff's in the US Open final. Wow. Yes. <laughs> Huge fist pump from Coco. Into Come her on. second career Grand Slam final. Come on. I mean, amazing. We've got to give her a button. Coco Goff. You like that? It's getting better. It's my match. Let me tell you. I'm knocking women out by one, two, three. Coco. Oh, come on. I mean, it doesn't get better than that, does it? Coco Goff is in the final of the US Open. Who will she meet there? It's either Sabalenka or fellow American Madison Keys. I can't wait to see Coco in a US Open final. She, it's so deserved, and it's her time to shine. Unbelievable. Great effort. Took her six match points, and to be able to put them out of your mind, especially she was serving for one of them, um, to put them out of your mind and to can just keep going. Um, that 40-shot rally was massive, uh, and you got to give it up for Mukova. I mean, crazy effort there at the end. She, she was down 3-5, and she found her way back, and she's had an incredible year. She was a qualifier in Miami in, in April, and now she's uh, top 10 in the world, so... Nothing to be ashamed about for Mukova, but Coco Goff should celebrate tonight, take a day to get prepared, and then Saturday we are all looking forward to Coco Goff potentially having a shot at lifting the title, the trophy imagine. here in New York. Can you imagine it? I mean, it's just, it's, I'm just so excited. I don't even care who she has to play. I just love the fact that. It is Coco Goff in the final at the US Open. And she's made another slam final now. Like, how many more? I feel that it's not no coincidence that she got to the final of the French. She now got to the final of the US Open. I feel that she's going to get to more and more finals. It's just going to be the career trajectories. She's still a teenager. She's, yep. The best is yet to come. I mean... <sighs> everybody's going on about like obviously Alcalaz winning slam stuff like that he's older than her she's been around for ages yeah it, it's you know it's incredible i mean she's been in our in our in front of our eyes for so long 
she doesn't feel like she's a teenager, but she totally is. And she, um, you know, I was listening to a commentator earlier saying that they're kind of glad that she didn't win a major right away and that she's kind of really she's taken a longer path but she's solidified her foundation as a pro you know she knows how to play week in week out she's a solid top 10 player like oh for yeah sure. like so solid that's for the sure. brilliant thing to see in her now and and the changes she that she's made over the past two months i yeah i mean it's groundbreaking I mean, she went from having a massive forehand liability to not that she's fully fixed it, but she just knows how to play with it now, if that makes mm. sense. You know, she's she's just uh, confident and, and uh, she even acknowledged that I was listening in one of the uh, press conferences. She's saying, you know, I know what everyone was going for, mm. but I think she's just handling it better. She's still going to improve on that wing, but. Uh, yeah, very, very impressive. Unbelievable. Um, I think she's nice learned how to reset the rallies with the forehand just because that way, at least it's a good defensive shot. It doesn't need to be a good attacking shot as long as she can keep the ball in play. And we saw a lot of that there towards the end of the match. She was just getting it in, getting it deep, get try, just trying to unsettle uh, Mukova until she could get a proper weapon to hit the ball. So she just staying in rallies better she's recovery is one of the best i think on the women's tour mm. yep well that was a good one ben yep. three hours in for you and it looks like it's exactly 302 a.m so Correct. um if you need to hit the hit the sack i can close this one up and start the next one yeah when uh, does it start is it in a few minutes time or when is it yeah, I think I'm um, just looking right now. Actually, it looks like it's gonna be they half usually an have... hour. Is it half an hour? Yeah. So oh wow! You've got a bit of a you've got a little bit of a delay between the two. It may, it, who knows? They may start earlier, but I think they pushed it provisionally to three thirty. This uh, Skybet site is usually pretty accurate. They're saying it's starting in. 15 minutes oh it might, yeah they probably bring it forward they probably just precautionally put uh, it at, at 3 30 yeah. but you never know uh anyway yeah if everybody um has enjoyed this i mean sorry i can't be a, as loud as i normally am it is 3 a.m here and do have like neighbors and stuff like that mm -hmm. uh but yeah appreciate everybody who stuck around even through the protest and yeah just make sure you've liked subscribe and join us for the next match, which is, well, Keys Sabalenka. Covey's going to take you through that until the early hours of the UK. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll check the result when I wake up and <laughs> watch it then. But, yeah, have a good one. And thanks, okay, everybody. Buddy. And then we'll close this one off and you can get the next one going. You got it, buddy. Have a good night. Cheers, buddy. All right, folks, so I'm going to wrap this one up and then uh, head on over to the other stream. And uh, you know what? Let me see if I can actually add it in here to make it easy for everybody. Give me one second. Where's my Sabalenka? There we go. Sabalenka keys. And just for you all, here is the link for the next match. Join us if you will. Uh, so I'm going to start that one pretty soon. So just to hit that link and we will be good to go. Once again, thank you to everyone. Thank you to Ben for staying up until 3 in the morning UK time. Um, we got one more semifinal coming up. As I mentioned, link in the comments. We'll see you shortly. Thank you guys very much for joining me. Covey out. For a couple minutes and I'll see you real soon on the other stream.